This is a block form I welded together. I manufactured because I couldn't find one in standard, US standard measurement. All I could find was metric. So we've decided to pull off this little demonstration today. I already made one. I think that mud was a little wet, a little shaky. I added a little more sand and uh, stiffened my mud mix up a little bit. It's about uh, eight parts sand, one and a half parts type one Portland cement, and about a half part aggregate, which is a little stone that I bought up at Lowe's. Basically, it's like a sandcastle. You put it in, you pull your sandcastle off, and you're left with your sandcastle. In this case, my sandcastle is a block. So here we go. The two mistakes I made was one I need a funnel that fits on top of here you know about an inch high that goes all the way around I can just fill it shake it all down and get it out the other thing is I got two straps going all the way across this thing holding these two cells inside I'm gonna switch that to one vertical holding this aside so I can clean off the top of this this has been my problem that's why you're getting an ugly block this is just the prototype this is just to show what's possible the, uh, the one I'm building right now is the new one. I also built this out of 14 gauge steel. So it's pretty rugged, pretty sturdy. It takes a while to do this process because like I said, I got two bars here. If I just had one standing straight up down the middle, I could fill this easy. Plus another ring all the way around that I could fill and then shake it all down. Got to get the form about halfway full, all the way around. And then we're going to give it some taps, like so. The consistency is about what you find on the beach, any beach, the sand there, or if you've ever done tile, this is almost the exact consistency of the pan mud that you put in the bottom of a shower. It's called a zero slump mix. You don't want it to settle at all. Once you pull that form off, you want to keep it tight. Keep it all its width and everything, just like you would a sandcastle.
and you can see it would be a lot cleaner if I just had one stringer right here these sides would be done easier but anyways that's how you do it a couple taps we pull the center out first because the center does isn't isn't as important it can be a little irregular in the middle where it has to be good of course is on the outside because of course the inside doesn't show only the outside Again, this mix might be a little too wet. <laughs> now, as you can see, the the ugly indentions from the uh, the two rods. There'll just be one down the middle in my next turn. Of course, this blocks upside down. I don't know if you can see the handle, but the handle's on the bottom. The thick side's on the bottom, so you can slide up over the thin side. You couldn't do it the other way around. So both these blocks are set upside down. Here's an example of one that I've already done with the handle up. It's a little thick, thicker around the edges, as you see, but the middle is where you got a handle on it, and you're supposed to leave that handle. This is what it was all fabricated from. I took this whole dimension of this block and welded me to form out of this block you can actually see some of the weld marks on it from where I was welding the piece together oh well we'll see you later